which truck all good. I'm a chemist with the Comores Company, and over my 30-year career, most of which has been in the refrigerants industry, I've worked in a lot of different functions, from research and development, new product commercialization, application support, training, and otherwise providing technical knowledge, engineering support to the HVACR industry through a variety of refrigerant transitions. So normally I'm out on the road, meeting face-to-face, -face, doing training, working at trade shows, conferences, where I get to spend time uh, with a lot of you, answering your questions, getting into the details. Well, the times we find ourselves in now, where we're not out in front of people meeting face-to-face -face as much, I still wanted to keep the opportunity available to answer your questions, to give you the support you need. So to that end, I'm gonna be producing a series of videos. Hopefully they'll be short, focused, and informative designed really to answer those frequently asked questions, clear up any misinformation or misunderstandings, and basically keep you equipped to serve your customers as we go forward uh, coming out of this pandemic and uh, getting back to whatever our new normal looks like. So the best questions are the ones that you get asked. Uh, I have a lot of them already, but certainly email me directly. I'll put my email up on the screen here. That's probably the easiest way, but feel free to direct message me on LinkedIn if you happen to be on our Option.com website, there's also a mechanism there where you can submit questions as well. Whatever works best for you, we'll be glad to take a look at those. And we have a long list already of things I'm constantly getting asked. Uh, things like, is there really such a thing as a drop in refrigerant? Uh, kind of basic things. What's an HFO? How does it differ from an HFC or a CFC that I'm used to? There's a lot going on in the regulatory uh, landscape as it comes to refrigerants as well. What does the new EPA 608 regulation uh, changes mean to me as a contractor or as a business owner? Uh, what's going on with the California Air Resources Board in their proposal? How is that gonna play out for grocery stores, end users, mechanicals, wholesale distributors, basically anyone, OEMs, anyone in the uh, cold chain, uh, value chain, uh, needs to understand what's going on out in California. What's mildly flammable mean? I hear about mildly flammable refrigerants. How is that different than highly flammable? What really is the practical difference and how am I going to have to do my job differently? Environmental issues. What's the difference between ozone depletion and global warming? How are global warming potential numbers calculated in the first place? I get a lot of questions about a lot of different things. And uh, I know a lot of people in this industry, we have a lot of in-house expertise that uh, I can call on to answer these questions if I can't do it. And certainly we'll be glad to do that as well. So again, feel free to email me directly, uh, reach out to me, direct message. Uh, but I hope you can uh, check out some of our videos. Hope it's worth your time. Give us your feedback. And uh, we'll be coming out with a, with a series of these uh, as we get more and more questions. We'll try and answer them in a, a series of uh, short video clips. So again, thanks for taking your time. Check out our other videos. Feel free to reach out and get your questions answered. That's what I'm here for. Um, we'll be talking to you soon, and thanks for your time.